Let's get them. All right, let me go ahead and go to your page and share them. All right, y'all. Um, let me make sure that those who are watching on Facebook are good and those who are watching on YouTube uh, are good. Look at Let that. me make sure that those who are watching, that would mean yes, Quest. You heard that? Are yeah. good and mm -hmm. those who are watching, there's an echo in here, so that means we're on. Yep. And um, I'm going to make sure on Facebook, because I checked it on uh, YouTube. I'm going to mm -hmm. make sure Facebook is good. Mm -hmm. uh, get to it before I do. Because some of us are using old stuff to yep. get where we got to go. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Going up, sliding up. There you go. So both of them are good. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shut off this Chrome. Looking like a Kung Fu movie. Because uh, I'm I'm looking at my CPU usage, uh -huh. and it's no happy. Yeah, let me go in and close out some stuff here as well. Yeah, as you know, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Last yeah. week was weird. Like it was. It was real it? weird. It was real weird. Yeah, I I don't think it liked me being away from my my regular seat. It was a, a little bit angry because yeah. we were on the road. But yeah. you know say no excuses. We got the job done. Yeah. The sound worked, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if nothing yeah. else worked. Yeah. I see Ayana and uh, Nikki, my oh, man Rambo. Yeah, fan yeah, Foundation. Yeah. What mm -hmm. up? Yeah. yeah, man. I haven't seen my peoples in Trenchtown for a minute, Quest, because, you know, I'm on a new assignment. So I, I, don't, I don't get to see the peoples, man. I need to yeah. go through, run, come through like on a on a day other than sabbath yeah. so yeah daddy got you on a new assignment yeah so i'm feeling disconnected rambo what happened mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> nikki you see her yeah i see her <laughs> yeah, Madge on the move went oh yeah it was great she said some wonderful <laughs> things no doubt yeah yeah, yeah keep yeah, it like it ain't that what we were talking about a second ago yeah we were we trying okay. to get you know Nikki. We trying to get her out in the in the front a little bit more. You know she love play the background too much. Come out in the front, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she loved play. She loved to play the background. But um, yeah, man, God is blessing her in a mighty way, man, and pricking her heart. And I think she's realizing that you know she's helping a couple of females think differently about the institution. Yeah, what we do. You know, saying so she get a yeah. female perspective that I could never give because I ain't a female, but. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, just saying. I get it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, you wouldn't be my man if I didn't like drop a joke in there here. Oh, come on, come on. That's right. what we do. That's what we do. We comfortable. Yeah. You know no, it, yo, I like that though because because you remember, yo, remember back in the day, be like. You be talking, you be like, and then somebody say something, and you be like, "Yeah, you don't know me like that, man." Yeah, you don't know me like that. But at least we cool enough, you know. Yeah, praise. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be awkward, man. Yeah, praise. Awkward. Man. Yeah, but yeah. All right, so you let me know when you're done uh, sharing. For those of you just joining us, this is what we do while, um, you know, while we get the social media sharing piece in place. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, like I often say, when we sound like we know what we're talking about, it's because we've brought in the live um, audio folks on iHeartRadio, TuneIn, and whoever else picks it up in live audio. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just holding fast until my man gets finished clicking. Oh, man. We, 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 yeah, we good, man. We can, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We we're... Can. We can go ahead and get this thing cracking. All right. Well, I'm gonna close WhatsApp on my, my machine too, because I I don't I don't like using it on the phone. Quest, like yeah. I don't. People be having a lot to say, and I'm like, dude, if I used it on my computer, I would never respond to y'all. Yeah. Because I just can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Me and my yeah. thumbs, man. I just don't got that kind of time. <laughs> I don't have that kind of time. People. Give me a yeah. typewriter, keyboard. Sorry. How old am I? Keyboard. Oh, wow. Did I say typewriter? And I wasn't even thinking. Like, I wasn't trying to be funny. That just yeah. came out. Don't date yourself, B. Give me a typewriter. Who yeah. said that? 
Well, don't date yourself. Yeah. All right, y'all. So, um, all right, Quest, since you said that, quiet on the set, man. Yeah, got it. Hey, yo, Quest, it's time to give the people something, man. What are we talking about today? <laughs> what to do, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of the Marriage Ain't for Suckers podcast. I am your host with the most, Quest, alongside my mellow, my man, my man, my mellow, L. David Harris. Get, 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 get on it. And MC. What up, man? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, shouts out to all the people, man. Yeah. Shouts out. That's first and foremost. Yeah, I got to give, you know what I'm saying? Class is in, in session. session. No doubt, no doubt. Man, yeah. I just, I, you know, as always, I got to start off with giving, you know what I'm saying, all the all the people who listen to us, D. Um, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Loyal supporters, you know. Yeah. The, you know, the, the Nickies of the game. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And all of those who, you know, who who tune in week after week. So we yeah. can give some, you know what I'm saying? Just to talk about what we love to talk about, yes. you know, in a major way, and that's marriage. So yeah, yes. shouts out to all those people, man. It's been a lovely week. Um, happy birthday, happy belated birthday to Queen B, you know what I'm saying? The first lady of the green household. Oh, feliz cumpleaños. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Um, this week, um, we went, she wanted to go home for her birthday. Man, let me tell you something. God is so good, man. Uh-huh. Um, we left here on Wednesday. I'm sorry. Was it Wednesday night? Yeah, we left here on Wednesday night mm-hmm. uh, going to Thursday. Or we left yeah. here early Thursday morning. It was snowing a little bit. Um, snow had already dropped. But on the way up, like in parts of Southern Virginia, as we were traveling up, literally, D, we had to slow the car down to like 30, 25, 30 miles per hour because of the yeah. ice on the road. Yeah. Like, and we saw cars spin out to the left cars that spun out to the right mm-hmm. and experience none of that stuff you yeah, know what i'm saying good. and i'm just saying man the traveling mercies were definitely with us and then on the way back we experienced in lower 60s you know what i'm saying i'm like oh man good for you man that's wow. hot yeah that's yeah that's hot for the season don't man. hate it, me. It, 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 it ain't yeah i i don't hate you it's not it's not your kind of hot but it was good, you know what I'm saying? Even today, yeah, today is pleasant. You break. Yeah, you like, need a break. Oh, I need a break. I needed a break in the worst way. I need a constant break, though. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> in due season. In due season. We're going to keep that before God. But yeah, yeah no doubt. Um, you know, uh, the, the weather got better. She enjoyed her birthday. I played Uber for her and her friends one night. Gosh, <laughs> I played Uber. Left. Oh, I, need, yeah. I played Uber driver for him. And they had a good time. Yeah, shouts out to Cindy and Maria and Shannon, man, her girlfriends from way back when. Okay. Shouts out to them, man. She had a right. wonderful birthday, and I'm pleased. And then we, she she did the Marriage on the Move piece with me that I do every Saturday. I heard about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Nicole was bigging it up in the room just a while ago. Yeah. So, yeah, man, just keep her, man. We trying to get her out in the front a little bit more. And she dropped some gems, too. Yeah, know, of from course. From a female perspective. So, but, of course. I felt good about it. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. felt good about it. So, so yeah, man. Yeah, the two shall become. Oh, yeah. 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 Good stuff, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, how you living? I'm good, man. You know, just, you know, I got a lot going on, Quest. You just, yeah, it just I see you. It's unbelievable how much I got going on. But, yeah, yeah I you know, see Lord you. is with me, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm happy about it, you know. But, yeah, you know, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> He's making me more efficient, if you can believe that, because wow. I just happen to have that gift. But, geez, yeah. there's a lot going on. So if I don't stay efficient, I'm going to fail yeah, no doubt. at all of it, B. There's just too many balls in the air, B. So, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. So he's no good. Doubt. I'm happy about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so let's, let, let, let's, let's get into it, man. Yeah. First and foremost, man, let me just 
let me just shout out, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 you know, saying the, 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 the company that allows me to do what I do, you know what I'm saying? Uh You know, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, yeah, then you'll be successful. Shouts out to Breathe University. Uh-huh. Um, let me tell you, uh, D, I say it, you know, every week, but I'm realizing that, that, like, for real, the growth of the company, where we're going in terms of leaps and bounds, all under the leadership of Dr. Eric Thomas, mm-hmm. a.k.a. E.T., a.k.a. E.T., the hip-hop preacher, a.k.a. Yeah. the alien, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Mr. Extraterrestrial, but all jokes aside, uh, you know, him alongside, you know, CJ and Josh and, you know, all the members of the company, man, um, we've yeah, been man. able to do some fantastic things. So if you want to go to the next level as it relates to personal development, if you want to become a public speaker, if you want to grow, I don't care what it is that you're doing, entrepreneurship, you want to be better at your job, whatever you want to do, um, come and check us out. There's a yeah. lot to offer. We will indeed give you exactly what you need to be just that better. For more information, go to www.etinspires.com or www.breatheuniversity.com. Take Control Series coming up um, in LA. I'm I'm sorry, Miami's the first stop, Uh then Charlotte, then Atlanta. Um, I don't, I I forgot the dates off the top of my head, but if you want more information, go to etinspires.com forward slash events and get it all there. Good stuff, man. So, yeah, I'm going to try something new today. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. <laughs> Get your free audiobook download and 30 day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash marriage. Love it. More than 180,000 titles from which to choose mm-hmm. for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. And today I am going to recommend a book uh, to those of you who have children or you have children in your household. Yeah. The New Strong-Willed Child mm-hmm. by Dr. James Dobson. It's the unabridged version. Listen, man, there's so many of us who have willful children yep. in the nomenclature. So, yeah, if you need something that'll help you deal with the situation like you have some sense and stop using old methods, brute force won't win. <laughs> Negotiation won't win. Oh, you need man. something that's going to that's going to really help you. So, again, the new strong willed child, the unabridged version by Dr. James Dobson. Yeah. It's real talk, man. I'm not I'm not saying that because I just look for a book. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm that guy. So I understand how it gets how it works. Mm-hmm. And this is sound, scientific, good Christian advice all yeah. in one. Yeah. Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. That's that that's major stuff that you that you're introducing there too, um, D, because. Faith and I differ. <laughs> we pause. differ. Yeah, pause. As it relates to um, child rearing and child disciplining. Um, but what we've agreed to do, like tonight is our, our date night, yeah. you know, our pillow talk date night, which in other words, we sit up in the bed together. And tonight, our topic to, uh, or our thing to do tonight is to look over a webinar that this lady did on child rearing and how, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like for real, how to deal with a child who's very strong minded. And mm-hmm. so, so yeah, we, we like, like, you know, my, my resort, you don't hear, you will feel, you know what I'm saying? But you know, in, in certain instances, you know, the wife, I, I get it. You know, the, the, the boys is, is, you know what I'm saying? Those her babies. I'm not tripping, but what I did, yeah. I will sit. And if what you want to do doesn't work, then we'll, we'll do it. Try it my way. You know, yeah, yeah. We had parent teacher conference this morning, B. So Ooh. yeah. You know, I looked at I looked at what's going on with Josiah. I was just like, I, I spoke to the teacher. I was like, listen, there's certain things that because again, my background is behavior modification and management. Oh, yeah. Specifically. <laughs> so pick a behavior. So you got somebody that beats themselves up. Yeah. We can fix that. that yep. you, you, you got somebody that does nasty sexual stuff in public. We can fix that. Fix Just that. give us some yeah. time. Right. Yeah. But yep. when you're a seed <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and it has to do with homework work. Yep. Yeah. And, and son is just like, I mean, nah, I do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a problem. You understand? That's so I'm problem. like, yeah, there's certain tools we can use, but we have to, we have to be real careful not to get crazy with it in the household. You know, it takes time, man. It takes time, just an effort, a lot of prayer. And, uh, 
it helps to know something too. So that's yeah. why you have these third parties yeah. that can help if you are, if you don't already have that background. Oh so. yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today, homie. Because yeah, what's the what, what what where are we going with this one today? Man, we're talking about social support, man. Bottom yep. line. Yep. You know, we yep. can talk about the title, but y'all can read that. Yep. You where know, two roads meet. You know. Yeah, where two roads meet. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we're we're both. I mean, when you're married to somebody. I mean, yeah. I mean, the name says it all. Like you're from two different backgrounds. You're mm-hmm. from two different places, mm-hmm. two different homes. Like you can say you have the same background or whatever, because you grew up in the same city. Or I was just about to say country. So like, you can tell yourself that. Yeah, yeah. But it's still too different because yeah. unless you grew up in the same womb yep. and then everything else was identical, like yep. same is not the same. <laughs> unless is, it's every, identical. is every marriage the same? Nah, man. All is right, your so marriage the same as it was yesterday? I mean, if you want to talk about it. Yeah, for real, for real. You know what yeah. I'm mean? saying? Yeah. So, well, you know, with two two persons coming into one marriage, mm-hmm. then, of course, there are a lot of things that, that need to be negotiated, a lot of things compromised, a lot of things conceded, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. And we're going to, you know, the context for today is social support. And I just want to share something as a jump off quest. Yeah. Please. So Simone and I went to, to, to college, to university together, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And um, so, of You're course, so we both, huh? You so Jamaican. I had to switch it because if you say then they, and I'm not trying to make a joke to those y'all who don't know, like yeah. it, it may be thinking about something totally different than what the people in America. Th- but everybody, university is the same thing for everybody. Else, yeah, right? it is. It is. <laughs> All right. So I can't say college because that'll minimize the thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we went to university together and and, sh- you know, we have a mutual friend. But of, but I shouldn't say, of course, but in this case, the friend, her name is Demetrius. She is more a friend of Simone's, mm-hmm. at least from that time, from those days. Yeah. Then she was my friend. Like they they hung out together, you know, they had joint <laughs> joint relationships kind of flow, you know, where, you know, two people that are together and then the two w- girls, you know, you know that kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. And and they also were roommates for a while, right? So when I was about to get married and uh big up to Demetrius by the way. Yeah. You know, we were about to get married. One of the things I said to her to Demetrius, I'm saying, was how much I appreciated her. Mm -hmm. I am so happy that you are Simone's friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had, you know, you know, 10 or 11 years of of knowing one another and all that, too. I'm talking about Demetrius and I. Right. Mm -hmm. But the context was different because now I'm about to get married to Simone, who is a really, really good friend of Demetrius. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, dude, I'm not going to front like even though I got 11 years and as a friend with Simone that I can I can give her everything. I can't be everything to Simone Quest. Mm-hmm. And I and I don't feel defeated by it. It's just what it is. So I was like, dude, I need you. Like, thanks. Like, thanks for being her, like her homegirl, like her good friend. Yeah. So I respect the social construct or the social support. Not just everything social, but the social support, I'm down with it, B. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. thankful for Demetrius and other friends, but that's the one I spoke to at the time. Yeah. I, um, and I'm looking for it. I'm yeah. For it. I'm ho- yeah, I'm looking for it. All right. So what we're going to do here, here it is, Quest. So what we're going to do, we're going to break it down to one, two, three, four compounds. Like we used to say, break it down to the very last compound. Yeah. Four compounds, support of friends and family for our relationship. Yeah. My relationship with in-laws, my in-laws, yeah. oh boy, network of mutual friends we both enjoy. Yeah. It almost sounds redundant, but real talk, like just because you have mutual quote friends, that doesn't mean you both enjoy them. Yeah. And then the last one, social support from my faith community. Right. Yeah. So where you want to start, man? Um, It's a number of things, number of areas I want to start. I want to do this first as you add it in connection with what you just said, Mm because I mean, it'll all tie in later on. Uh, I believe it's Titus 2. Mm hmm. Yeah, let me let me let me make it let me make it more modern English. I believe I need to make it more modern. I'm on that Net Bible, by the way, bro. Yeah, the Net that, Translation. I've been yeah. using that a lot lately. Yeah. So, so I love the word because the word, like, it has so much richness to it. You know what I'm saying? Titus two, 
you know, saying three through five says, likewise, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanderers or addicted to too much wine, but to teach what is good. Uh -huh. and they can urge the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled and pure, to be busy at home, to be kind and to be subject to their husbands so that no one will malign or blaspheme the word of God. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it because sometimes we're in relationship and, and, and by no means, I, you have to take everything in this context. I'm not saying that all women got to be at home and all women need to work from home. I'm not saying that at all. If you, if you have a day, a nine to five, that you, that that's your thing. But what I am saying is that the support system that you have outside of your marriage is yeah. is very important. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Which is what we're touching on today. Yeah. So basically what the word is declaring is that older women who are well-versed in the areas of relationship and marriage and you know what to do and what not to do, school the younger women. Like younger women, you really do. This thing called marriage, you need all the support that you can get, you know what I'm saying? Outside of, you know, making sure that you got God as the epicenter, like for real, for real, you need support. Who is your support system? Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? You were just talking a, a while ago, D, to Simone having Demetrius. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like outside of that, and once again, who are well-versed in the area of marriage, who love you, who respect you, but not impressed by you, where your relationship is good enough for them to check you Right. When you know you're not operating in the fullness of what you've been called to be as a wife or as a mother. Yep. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. So where are we going to start? Let's start. With, let's pick one. Faith, community, social support or social support, uh, friends and family for our relationship. Let's go with social support, friends and family. All right. So we're going to use uh, Chris and Tony again. And Tony is a wife. She's okay. a woman. Okay. Chris, the husband. Yeah. And uh, so based on, you know, a questionnaire, they, they answered some questions. And this is the outcome of that yeah. uh, assessment, right? Yeah. So for Tony, uh, it says that you have a great deal of social support from your friends and family as it relates to your relationship. Mm -hmm. Having their blessing is a tremendous advantage. Mm -hmm. We're having a great start in your marriage. So, of course, these these folks were um, planning to become husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And for Chris, it says you have a great deal of social support for your friends and family as mm -hmm. it relates to the relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. And it basically says the same thing. Mm -hmm. What if Tony had that and Chris Basically, if Chris, if on Chris's side, it says you have zero support from your friends and family and uh, they don't even like the fact that you're getting married. Mm. And in our cases, we're married. So, mm. you know, it, they don't like the fact that you have faith class and I have Simone. Mm. So what does that look like? Because we can easily just say, oh, that was positive. Great. Yeah. Clap and move to the next one. But what if we're, there's a little conflict here now? No. One of them has great social support. The other one does not. Let, let's create some context for this. Are we saying, providing that our family is fairly decent, healthy, emotionally healthy people? We're, we're not assuming anything. This is, we got to talk. We got to drag all that out in the street. Yeah. All so right, let's so start cool. with healthy. It, it, all right. Well, if it's healthy and all of them are against me marrying, you, you know what I'm saying? This person, like there, there's a number of different factors that there's a number of different ways we can entertain this. But just off the surface, before we dive in a little bit deeper, like I may need to take a step back because I'm in it and you okay. can't see the picture when you in the frame. Uh huh. Family, gotcha. mem family members can see the picture because they not in the frame. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. But when you in the frame, you can't see the whole picture. Yeah. And so sometimes providing that we have healthy family members, they see something that you don't see chances are you may need to take a step back and, and look at that. You know? Yeah. Because um, there's a number of th reasons why I may not be seeing that. Am I engaged in 
sexual activity, which would cloud my vision so that I don't see the red flags that are popping up. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Am I, what, you know, talk. Am yeah. I doing some stuff that doesn't allow me to see or is it that I'm so infatuated with her that I start playing all those red flags to the left or to the right? And to be honest with you, I don't, you know, if I'm, if I'm healthy, I can't see me doing that unless I'm engaging in sex before marriage. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we can be, we can be healthy and deceived. Deceived. Yeah. Or self-deceived. Deceived. Indeed. Yeah. Willfully ignorant. Yep. Now, yeah. Now if the, if my family is not so healthy yeah. And they're saying it just for GP. I probably would go and get somebody to assess the relationship, like people that I consider to be very healthy people. Like, can okay. you take a look. What do you see? Do you see right. like this is a relationship that I should go further into? Or is this mm-hmm. a relationship that I need to just step back for a moment before? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, for yeah. me, you, you have some options. Yeah. So we really need to just, you know, that's something that we have to think about, you know, some unfortunately, and I, and I, I'm tempted to make it seem like it happens only with young people, but it doesn't. Yeah. No. Nah. Um, you know, sometimes people just completely ignore it and be like, I'm marrying this person. And if you don't like it, that's your problem. Yeah. Well, no, it's not your problem. It's, it's your problem because listen, it's no fun when y'all can't get together with nobody. Y'all can't go nowhere with nobody. Yeah. Everybody you got to make, Every friend you have has to be a new friend. Yeah. And, and 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 that gets a little bit weird during the holidays, even if you're not into them. And like, I'm not really into most holidays where you got to eat a bunch of stuff and, and pay a bunch of money for stuff. Yeah. For people that you don't even really like. Yeah. Like, I'm not into those. But if you if you front like life is not what it is, <laughs> even for people who are not really into the holidays, that's a nightmare, bro. Like. So we got we can't front like it's not what it is like that. Everybody got that 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 one cousin or that yeah. one uncle or aunt where every yeah. holiday they were somebody new. Thanksgiving you was with. Oh, bro. <laughs> we used to hang out with some folks, man. And one of the folks, I'll just leave it like that. Like yeah. it was like every minute, like not every minute. Okay. Every time we got together, yeah, there was a new, a new person. Yeah. And it's like you don't want to say, Yo, what's up? Long time I ain't seen you. And then you were like, oh, no, that wasn't you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> Especially if you're somebody like me. I'm not silly enough to, to make a comment like that just yeah. on the strength of I'm just not going to ever say nothing like that because yeah. I just don't do that. Right. Yeah. But if I were, I'm also the guy that doesn't always remember you directly. Yeah. So it would have been easy for me to oops. Yeah. Long time. Oh, wait a minute. What's your name again? Quest. Nah, that doesn't ring a bell. Quest. Nah, not Quest. No. No, that was Bill. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's <laughs> awkward. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go with let's go with mutual friends, Quest. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't have no time now. Yeah, mutual, mutual friends. Yeah, mutual. We both enjoy. Yeah, mutual friends that we both enjoy. Yeah. Um, and and uh, are you saying that they say we shouldn't be married? Mutual friends that we both enjoy? No, it's not about that. It's about, you know, having. OK, let me let me give it a context. So yeah, both please. Tony and Chris rated the same way again. Uh-huh. You feel very good about your individual networks of social relationships and they're melding. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel good about your your spouse's investment in your friends and vice versa. Yeah. What if there's a conflict? Because these two are look like they're sailing pretty well. Yeah. What if it's a conflict and 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 faith is like, you know, that dude, Dave, that should be on the camera with all the time, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I get it. Like me, me and Tifa, mm-hmm. we were cool. Like back in the day, that's mm-hmm. Quest's sister. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that dude, Dave. You keep saying you grew up with him, but I don't remember the dude. Like, I don't like you rocking with him. Yeah. Now so, what? So, <laughs> you know so, what I'm saying? So in other words, um, I. It, it it would have to be one of those situations where I assess like what what has Dave contributed like why would she not like him like has yeah. he con- like D- Dave has been one of those dudes who are like a good friend he don't encourage me to be out doing foolishness and uh-huh. at that point I would have to look at you like what is it about him that you don't like do you feel threatened by him in terms of our relationship do you feel right. 
I mean, not. Let me just put the disclaimer. No, that's no, no, I'm no. Get it, Quest. Yeah, let's yeah, please yeah, don't yeah. go there this time. Like, let's no, don't play ourselves. Yeah. No, <laughs> let me just. No, I got to put it out there. Like, yeah, let, Faith loves David, so let me just say that right there. <laughs> we you know, cool. They, yeah, we they good. You know, we so cool. let me. Just, yeah, but if it was that kind of situation, yeah. it would have to be one of those situations that's like, what is it about Dave that you don't like? I would have to literally address it. Like, why don't you like him? Right. Anything he has been a blessing to my life. He has never encouraged me to do anything dirty as it relates to you. He's always encouraged me to do X, Y, and Z in a positive light as it relates to you. So why don't you like him? You know, are you threatened by him as my friend that he might take away time from you? What is it about him? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, well, we would have to really sit down and assess the situation. So we have to be objective. We have oh, to be. Yeah, no open. Of course, our spouse is a number one, no matter what. Even if even if you just met Faith yeah. five years ago and you got married to her, y'all been in the in the marriage relationship for three years. Yeah, no doubt. And you and me been friends for 39 years. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's still your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Like the two the two good friends did not become one flesh. Like, yeah, no. The man and his wife became one flesh. So you you have to start there, yeah. no doubt. And a good friend, you know, and I consider myself to be that. It's like yeah. a good friend, even if I thought it was kind of, I don't know, something negative. Yeah. I would have to take back and be like, yo, look, yo, get your marriage right, B. Like, mm-hmm. we good. Like, I'm going to be here. Like, you can't unbe a friend. Like, it's not like Facebook, B. Like, you can't yep. unfriend people. Yeah. In real life, man. Facebook is virtual. That ain't real. Yep. Y'all ain't got 5,000 friends. Let me yep. just tell you, do not yep. have 5,000 friends. friends. Yeah, no doubt. Just don't. You, you don't. got 5,000 associates. Yep. You lucky yeah. in this life if you get one good friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And God, I, I think D, God has blessed us in, in tremendous ways because we got a number of good friends. Yeah, real talk. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 yeah. But but it, it, it's funny that we're having this discussion, and I I hope people are seeing and hearing it in the right light, right? Yes. And that is like marriage requires a whole bunch of stuff. How much time we got left, D? I just want to be on what kind of program? The thirty or the forty? Yep. I'm just which telling one? you that. Which one, B? The thirty or the forty? Let's do the forty today because I just we want got, to we got thirteen minutes. Yep. I just want us to address a couple of things as we move forward. Um, you you see what marriage requires you know we yeah. were just having this conversation this morning shouts out to you know what i'm saying my, my my prayer line my spiritual barbershop brothers this morning if you will shouts out to them we were having this discussion this morning d um, um as it relates to marriage and what what it requires a lot of the times you know when you get that 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 app and I, I think I've I've said it before, but I definitely was discussing it with them this morning. We like the relationship of marriage, we like the commitment and all of that stuff, but do we understand the fullness of what marriage is mm. and what it isn't? When you get a new app on your phone, right? You like using that app, you get accustomed to using that app, and then mm. they run the update to you ah. a couple of months later. And on the update they run to you, they send you a thing called terms and conditions, yeah. right? And in the terms of conditions, you read it through, right? Or you're supposed to read it through. Supposed to. And at the end of it, you you know, what do we do, though? We get the terms of conditions and we do this. We scroll to the bottom. Then we click the checkbox. I accept. And you have. Get me to the good stuff. I don't need to read this. I don't need this. I just need to get back to the app. Yeah. With us, we just want the relationship. But when you get up and the terms of conditions of marriage say, I, David, take Simone. I quest take faith to have and to hold for the rest of my life and for better or for worse in sickness and in health for richer or for poor till death to us part. You don't even know what the fullness of richer or poor is, sickness and health. And, and some of us do, but I'm saying for those of us who don't, that's the reason why we have these discussions yeah. because things like the, in the context that we're talking about in terms of social life, you get married. She don't like your friends. You don't like her friends. You know what I'm saying? All of these are complicated situations yeah. that can cause marriages to divorce. But hold yeah. up. Negating the fact that you stood before God and man and you said, I do for uh-huh. better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health. And you had no idea that this was the extent of worse. This was the extent of poor. This was the extent of sickness. You understand? 
And so yeah. when, when, when we have these discussions, we're trying to get you to understand the fullness. Do you understand the fullness and understand that what your worst is, it has every potential of getting even worse than that if you don't set the proper foundation, if you don't do your necessary due diligence, if you don't sit down and have the conversations that need to be had. Because here's the truth of the matter, D, we go out, buy that new laptop. We yeah. go out and buy that, that, you know what I'm saying, that new luxury piece yeah. car or house. How many rooms, how much yard space, how many acres of land? Yeah. How does the gas tank hold? What's the miles per gallon? What's the specs on the machine? You do all the necessary, but when it comes to relationship, you don't do that. And at the end of the day, you get what you get because you didn't do your homework. Yeah. So I think this is a good opportunity. You know, true. Mo- a lot of the people that are watching are people who are married, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, But, you know, let's not take it for granted. We know that some of the people who watch us are not married. So we're giving you a gem. Like we're giving you a, I'm calling it an out quest. And if you don't agree, I get it. Like mm-hmm. I'm giving you a out, yeah. right? Because if you already kind of linking arm in arm with somebody yeah. where the red flags are popping on one or I, or the other side, like push pause, like there's no rush. Like if you're, if you're already engaged, it's okay. Like I'm not saying you should stand somebody up at the altar. I'm thinking that you should be able to figure it out before that day. But listen, no disrespect and don't like 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 don't edit my joint like and put it on Facebook somewhere. Yeah. I'm not saying leave anybody at the altar because I think that's kind of I don't like it. But yeah. if the difference between messing up two families, two networks, two social constructs Absolutely. Is, Absolutely. Is, to, is to figure it out on the day before you sign the contract. Absolutely. Listen, man, it, do what you have to do. And yes, you're going to have to do a lot of cleaning up after that. Yeah. But it's so much cleaner yep. when you don't make the vow yep. if you're not going to keep it. Real Absolutely. talk. So Absolutely. I, I want to jump into the faith community piece, Quest, because yep. all of these can be complex. Mm-hmm. But the faith piece, and, and we're not talking about it here, but the faith piece and the political piece. I think we did a program on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I don't remember. It's so many things but yeah the the faith piece is critical so again it just so happens that tony and chris are compatible mm-hmm. and it says you view your religious faith and people you worship with and worship is a critical word because if you're talking about a faith community yep there are a lot of counterfeits for faith that have to do with spiritual discipline like praying and don't shut off the, the program right this second mm-hmm. praying is a spiritual discipline Mm-hmm. You know, you're talking to the one you consider to be God, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I hope it's the true and living God, mm-hmm. right? Uh, if you uh, do service for people, that's mm-hmm. another discipline. That's something you do. It's outward, right? You're, you're trying to be helpful to those who are in need. You're trying to, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but worship happens from within. Mm-hmm. So those can those can happen if you're dedicated, yes or no. Mm-hmm. But worship is something that can only be authentic. Either you're going to worship God or you're going to worship the other spirit. Mm-hmm. Right. And so they say that in their faith and the people they worship with, mm-hmm. it's a significant part of their social support system. Mm-hmm. So back to the, 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 you know, the analogy we were saying about, you know, if, if, if faith was not cool with me, mm-hmm. Right. If I'm a part of your faith community, right, and we worship together, I said worship. I didn't say go to the same place and say that we're worshiping. I'm talking about we really do. No, we worship. Then the only thing I can be for you is something positive. And so what if the two people or the two persons in the marriage relationship don't agree? Yeah. Yeah. And I, when I say agree, I'm talking about fundamentally. Yeah. Y'all can play with it, but I'm not going to play with play it. Play with it. Yep. If you two are worshiping two different gods, I'm going to pick two, Quest. Yep. If you, uh, if somebody is, is worshiping Buddha, yeah. somebody else is worshiping Krishna, yeah. you need to really think about this. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say this, D, because a lot of people, you know, re- re- as it relates to your faith, it, that's that's very big when it comes to relationships, yeah. especially when you have kids and you just said it. What am I going to, what am I, how are we going to raise our children? Where are we going to? Buddha yeah. or Krishna? I mean, how, how are we going to do this? 
And so there's a principle that's in the word. And I think it, 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 it in the uh, Bible. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and I don't care what, I don't care what religion you are part of. It stands true throughout all of those. And that is how can two men move in the same direction lest they touch and agree. Straight yeah. Up. And that, 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 that right there is spiritual. It's logical. It's all of those different things. Me and you, D, cannot continue to do this podcast and nah. be as successful as it is, lest we touch and agree on what marriage is and what it isn't. At some point, we're going to be like, boom, and then it, Collide. either, either yeah, it's going to be confusing for other people or we're just going to end the podcast. It off. not but, work. I forgot what we were talking about the other day, and I was like, man, I'm so glad that you and I are on the same page because I would have been like, Quest, I know we got 39 years of friendship yeah. and all that, yeah. right? But, yeah. dog, it's just not going to work out. Yeah. This right here can't work because we don't agree. So much more now yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. married yeah. To, to your wife, ladies, to your husband. And yeah. now the faith piece. When you pray, yeah. what are you expecting? If you pray, what if one person has no no active faith that is, is, is rooted in uh, God who created us? And, and now you got two people and you don't have offspring yet. And then you introduce offspring. Yeah. How is that going to work? Yeah, it's crazy because a, a partner of mine, man, just last year I was at a conference and a partner of mine came. He's like, Quest, I got a relationship question. He was like, yo, he said, you know, you know me, I'm Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the, the young lady that I'm, I'm, I'm with, you know, she, uh, or I'm dating, she's Catholic. And he said, I want, the relationship to get a little bit better. And I sat him down. I said, I said, you trust me? I called him by his name. I said, you trust me? He said, yeah, I trust you. I said, do you think that I would ever lead you wrong? I said, he said, no, I, I don't. I said, okay, good. I'm about to say some stuff to you. You may not like what I have to say, yeah. but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. Are you, what do they call it? Are you, are, are you, are you, yeah, I, I already knew the answer. I said, was he? You mean was he dedicated to his? Were you a Islamic dedicated faith? believer to you? Uh -huh. to, like, that's exactly it. I said, yeah. "Are you a dedicated believer to your Islamic faith?" And he's yeah, without a doubt. I mean, that's you. you all right, I don't have to tell you. And he's like, not he is oh, you know, like okay, like, understood. Yeah, his family come from. He's like the first generation understood. born here in the states. So yeah, that's a whole different. They're not he they, in his from his paradigm. He's not yeah, playing with it. Yeah, it's not. It's not, not, it's not, not a. It's, it's not, not a, a cultural thing. It's it's a no, part of his. It's, yeah, it's a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? It's just uh -huh. not. It's a part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, go, go ahead. Um. So and I said, is she like? Or he said, for the most part, yeah. They, there's certain things she believes in and she don't believe in. I, I, I told him, I said, don't waste your time. Cut this relationship now. And he's like, but yo, I just feel like we, I said, do me a favor. You, you, you a, a ounce of prevention is better Worth than more. a pound of cure. You understand? Would you rather get, and I just started going in. Would you rather fall in love with this woman, move into relationship, court get married and then have children and you and her fight as to how you're going to raise the children what happens when you go to the mosque and she's yeah. wanting you to go to confession what you going to do yeah one person is going to a priest in a confessional hoping to expiate her sins and the other one has you know obligatory prayers at a certain time super erogatory prayers at another time one has to confess whatever they confess the other one has to confess that you know, there's no no God but Allah and Muhammad is his man. So you can't like that doesn't jive. I'm just telling you. I'm just and, telling and the you. Same, and the same for us, Quest. Like if 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 we are we are Christians, yeah, Protestants, and Protestants are becoming extinct as of 2017. <laughs> yeah. And and in specific, I'm a Seventh day Adventist quest. And yep. so I if if Simone and I didn't have the same paradigm, there are just so many things that would go very weird. Yeah. And weird is an understatement with our with us with our, our offspring. Yeah, no doubt. You know, yeah. so like uh, Martin Luther King Jr. used to say, it's like two headstrong horses running full speed in the opposite direction. direction. And they tied at the tail. Yeah, it doesn't Somebody work. Gonna lose. Somebody gonna lose a tail. <laughs> it, it doesn't work, Quest. Yeah, so no, and it's so, no so, this. It's like you're saving yourself a lot. Yeah of hassle 
yeah. and difficulty. And here's the funny thing. I'm not saying who's right and who's wrong. I'm not even saying that. What I we're am not, saying. We're not talking about that today. It's just yeah, a not, matter not of are you on the same nah. page? Yeah. I, I, I just need for us to understand, though, that the principle is true. Two men can't move in the same direction lest they touch and agree. Yeah. So that's what that is. It's a blessing to yeah. be able to have this kind of uh, discussion quest because that's the key to success for a lot of people. You already Get know. Street, man. Stay Holla. focused. All right, y'all. Bang, bang, bang. We uh, definitely appreciate uh, your time. Definitely. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what it is, Quest. You, you know, you can't play with it. If you want to be, you want to, somebody wants to get married, yeah. then these are the kinds of things that you really need to be Another thinking about. One bites the dust. Yep. Yo, I want to yeah. start this party off, man. I, I, I'm seeing some people, man. I got respect, Quest. Yeah, yeah. I got my man Travis. I don't know if you know. Do you know Travis Landor? He's from the Bronx. I know that. That's how, yeah, Trav, and then of course Daniel Pate. But listen, man, another Boricua, Doctor Gaspar Colon. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, were they in the house? He's a he's a le listen. He's a leader's leader, my oh, friend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, a lot of years in in the work in the ministry, man, and very respectful. And he and his wife have, you know, they've had marriage ministries for probably as long as we've been alive. So yeah, no doubt. Big up to them, and big up to uh, Robert Kennedy, RK three. Look like uh, the Bronx is overrunning our our timeline. Oh, That's what happened tonight? I don't know what happened, man. But Brooklyn yeah. and Queens need to stand up. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Just I'm sorry. One more. Just so, since you said that, I saw my man Daniel Faulkner come in, man. Oh, okay, QB. Good. Okay. There we go. QB's okay. the borough. There we okay. go. We yeah. got it. <laughs> yeah. Shouts out to Daniel Pate, man. Delroy yeah. Smith. Ben Cook, who's a part of the Breathe You. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling y'all, man, that the cruise in a month is going down. Oh, yeah. Y'all going. Y'all going right before we do our next thing. Yeah. From the 4th to the 11th, man. Word. We'll have a special guest sit in with you, D. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be, it's going to be fire. You're not, y'all not stopping through the, through the rock, right? Nah, I wish I was. Yeah, because I'd have to come. I had to get in the car, man. Oh, for real, for real. Uh, I, I think where we're going is Princess Keys, Bahamas, mm -hmm. St. Private Island, St. Thomas. If I believe. okay, okay, yeah, I've been on a on a on one of those. Gotcha. Yeah, that'll be good, man. Yeah, yeah, but what's gonna happen on the cruises be even better. So Ooh. good for you. Man. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to bang them. Listen, man. I'm I'm getting it now. Remember last week I said big up to Pastor Damian Chambers and you and you thought I said Chandler. Listen, man. First of all, big up to Pastor Damian Chambers. It's yeah. a different person. Yeah. He's a communications person for yeah. Central Jamaica Conference, right? Yeah. But yeah. listen, I encountered Chandler yesterday with Myron yesterday. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I understand what you was like. Listen, man. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to just say Lord is good, man. That's all I'm going to say. It was a wonderful time having lunch, watching watching God work with those two brothers, man. Let's just say. So, yeah, I get it. Yeah, a major, major. Yeah. Major. Major. Nikki Donovan, big up. She's she's on. Simone and I have uh, known her for many years. We went to university together. Yeah. And my man, Kiwami from... Kiwami. Oh, yeah, that's our, that's our brother from... I'm a guest. Let's see. Let me get that right. I guess that's Pegasus, man, in Trenchtown. Keep and my he, music. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's he's a Sabbath child, man. That's his yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big up Quest Green because he commented on the joint, too. Oh, yeah, I'm like, no one. <laughs> <laughs> Philly PD, them feet, them Philly boys stand up. Philly. Craig, shot, Henry, Philly. what up? Yeah. Yeah, Adrian Shaw. Adrian, what I deal with? Yeah. Yo, shout yeah. out to them, man. So yeah, bro. 
let's let's get in this work, man. We got work to okay. do, man. We got that that um, yeah, that, uh, five minute joint to to to, to bang them with. Okay, good stuff. Production and yeah, and yeah. So shout out to everybody. All right, y'all, for always listening in to the Marriage Kings, man. Yeah, blessing, honor, and privilege. Love y'all, man. Yeah, man. Peace and all of that. We'll catch y'all on a rebound. Peace.